back to my channel. So today I am going to show you my new toy Beyblade. So, so this set is from the quad drive system. When uh, when these two are combined in the set together, this is known as the Cyclone Fury String Launcher set. And these three are from the Hypersphere system. This bay is Ace Dragon D5. This is Ruder R5 and this is a Hypersphere original launcher. So now, and this is the base area for the quad drive. So let me explain to you guys about Beyblades. So what are Beyblades? You might have seen the wooden toy top and the string. So you wind it up on the top, then you whip it, then it spins. Beyblade is kind of like that, but it's not exactly the same thing. So for Beyblades, they come in different designs, colors, and number number of swords right here. And they have launchers, either ripcord or string. So this one's a ripcord launcher, this one's a string launcher. So a ripcord launcher, you need to fully pull out the ripcord if you need a power launcher for the bay, like this. And for the string launcher, unlike a ripcord launcher, there is a limit of pulling the string. This is the ma maximum amount of pulling the string. Alright. So let's actually let's actually disassemble the base and show you guys how it actually looks like. So these are the base. So let me tell the names of the base. So this is Cyclone Doctor War R7. This is Ruder R5, and this is Ace Dragon D5. So if you look right here, there is a QR code, a little QR code. Same on this bay too. On every bay there is a QR code. Let me tell you why. So there is an official Beyblade app uh, burst app. This one. So in there you can actually scan the the actual Beyblades and make it into digital ones. Let me show you. So here's Cyclone uh, Rocktober R7. This one I digitalized it. By well, like I said, you need to scan it and then. So this is Cyclone Rocktober. So this is Ruda R5 and these are all the game uh, originated base. Alright guys, so let's assemble the base. The base are assembled. So, guys, uh, I I was wondering what would happen if I scan a bay again. So, I tried to scan this bay again, and then all of a sudden something strange happened. I got a blue base stadium in the digital game, and uh, you can also scan the actual uh, base stadium. So, there is the QR code right here. So the bay, so this square shaped base stadium, real life base stadium, gave gave me like a long uh, tower like base stadium in the digital game. 
let's play a game now digitally so this launcher actually had a qr code but i tried to so if you have a qr code on the launcher you can actually scan it into the game but uh, i think uh, this this is the same launcher right here so the people who made this uh, set maybe actually got confused and gave the qr code even i was wondering at first like why wasn't i able to scan the launcher because even launches can be scanned into the game like i said but this is the actual launcher right here so you can change the launchers by pressing this button right here see i changed to the launchers all right let's go let's battle let's do so this this one right here it's the original avatar attack for wild react Oh, there you go. I defeated the opponent. Round one. So that's a ring out finish. So in the digital game, there is no survival finish. It's only it's either a ring out finish or a burst finish. There you go, guys. That's a perfect launch. Woohoo! So in the digital game, you can actually customize your Beyblades. is with the with some parts that you have so yeah all right time for the avatar attack oh man plus you can actually block your opponent's attack so when your opponent attacks there will be like a shield option all right there you go time to show it damn 75% damage i got oh no that's a defeat All right, let's go third battle. There you go, another perfect launch. Two perfect launches in a row. All right, so all right, guys. So I'm going with the outer attack again. There you go, that's a perfect attack. Oh. So my enemy actually blocked fifty percent of my attack, so I did fifty percent damage to it. There you go, another point for me. All right, guys. So this is the last battle for me. I think I'm not really sure who wins. There you go, another perfect launch. Three perfect launches in a row. Oh no! I guess I'm gonna. Oh no! I couldn't even. I couldn't even block the attack. What? Oh man! That was, I just got bursted by my opponent, guys. So the opponent wins. He has actually four points. Hmm. But I still got some coins and all that stuff. So here, so you cannot actually like change the tip because, well, that's already originated in the game. But but like I said, you can actually customize with the tips and the forged discs. See, so there are there are a lot. Oh, a slingshot tip. Eh? All right. So this one's Valtiac, Spryzen, Ruder, the original Rocktober, Carbius, Ace Dragon. Cyclone Rocktober, which I of course show you guys. Show you guys. This is Z Achilles A4. So now we are going to battle with the Beyblade. So the reason why we are going to battle is because the main point of Beyblade is with battling with other Beyblades. So it's not like the toy top and the string where you just simply watch it spin and just spin it again. So it's that's not the point of our Beyblade. All right. So let's try Cyclone Rocktober on this Ripcord launcher. Alright, three, two, 
So let's uh, test spin it uh, with the string launcher just uh, just uh, that I can give you comparisons. Three, two, one, let it go. Okay, not bad. All right, now let me test spin Ace Dragon D5. Three, two, one, yeah. Okay, still not accurate uh, as uh, you get it from a record launcher. So let's see it with the record launcher. Yeah. And now ruder. So the launcher has two spin directions. This is the right spin. This is the left spin. So the left spin does not work for my base because well, all of them are right spinning. And uh, when you try to actually put it in the left spin mode, it doesn't even work. Alright now let's see with the string launcher. Okay, so for this way, this way the string launcher doesn't uh, give it like much much of an accurate spin. Alright guys, so battle time. Let's ba let's battle. So cyclone rock war against Suru Three two one let it go. Three two one let it go. So Cyclone Rocktober finished uh, spinning before uh, Ruder R5, so that's a survival finish. So in Beyblade, there are three types of finishes. Ring out finish, burst finish, survival finish. So what's a ring out finish? So a ring out finish is when your opponent hits you too hard and in fell, you fall in the ring or either get knocked into one of the stadium's pockets. So for a ring out finish, it's one point. Same with survival finish, but it's kind of different. So a survival finish means your opponent's base starts uh, stops spinning before yours. So you get one point for that too. And the major finish of all is the burst finish. So burst finish is when your bay, your opponent's bay or your bay gets bursted by each other's when when too much pressure falls by your opponent's bay. So yeah, all right. So let's battle with Ace Dragon now. So rock, Cyclone Rock Tower against Ace Dragon. 3, 2, 1, let it go. Let it go. Turned out Rock Tower is superior to Dragon. Alright guys, so thanks so much for watching. If you did like the video, please make sure to like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you next time.